Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the latest flagship model SSD from Plex Store, the M8SE. One terabyte model comes in different sizes. Of course, this SSD, uh, you can install it in your M.2 slot. It's also NVMe, and uh, you can have it in a PCI Express slot if you have an adapter card for that. Uh, Plexter does provide that in different models and uh, packages. The one that I have today does not come with the adapter. It just fits in your M.2 slot. But lucky enough, I have an adapter to test it out in there as well. Now, the sequential read and writes that are on, specified on the back of the box there say that up to 2.4 gigs per second on the read. And on the write, we're talking about 1 gig per second. So these are like super fast operations per second. We're talking about incredible speeds when it comes to the read and write. Imagine having this uh, in your desktop, PC, booting up Windows and everything else that you have. Terrific. Look at the uh, warranty. Three years. So definitely uh, Plex Store stands behind their product. Comes, by the way, with the uh, Plex Nitro technology. That's their improved read and write speeds uh, for their caching. Okay, so it's really uh, noticeable in my tests. I can't believe how fast it was. I'm using the PCI Express 3.0 Gen uh, and of course running it at X4 speed. So we're trying to make sure that you have a, a motherboard that supports the technology that this needs and maximizes that. Okay, the uh, chipset, the Marvel chipset. There you have the model and the Toshiba 15 nanometer architecture on the uh, memory. The TLC NAND memory uh, is specified there for you in case you're wondering. And uh, like I said, depending on whether your motherboard supports it or not, you can have it in the PCI Express adapter right there or you can have it in the M.2 slot if your motherboard supports that okay so make sure you check that first before you purchase it here it is running and installed in Windows 10 64 bit of course I have it specified I also launched the um, info here so that you can see and pause the screen I'm running firmware 1.0 that's drive H, you can see the transfer mode, PCI Express 3.0 X4 speeds, interface NVMe, so you know using the adapter is what I tried, and running some benchmarks here, starting with Addo Disk Benchmark. I'm running the sequential read and write, and you can see how well it performs right on the money, 2.48 gigs per second and uh, on the read, and one gig per second on the right. So definitely as advertised, I got those exact speeds. Uh, Crystal Diskmark 5.2.1 concurred also on those results. So great results as, uh, as well on there. So we're looking for consistency on this M8SE model. And uh, the ADA64 disk benchmark also proved to um, show us some terrific results on the megabytes per second uh, there, as you can see on the read test suite. Now, moving on to uh, something slightly different, PCMark 8 storage tests uh, tries to run a real world scenario. So it tries to simulate, you know, using Adobe, uh, uh, Microsoft Word, and other types of storage um, operations. So that way it can calculate and give you uh, a score. Now, the disk mark here from the performance test version 9 gave me a score of 12,402. Keep that number in mind. It beats these other types of devices on that list, as you can see right there. But I went online, took that score that I got from that benchmark, and said, well, how well does this perform with the very, very best? So you can see that it's not that far from the best of the best, right at the very tippy dee top of that list. And uh, more closely, if you're just looking and wondering what is nearby, well, here are some scores so you can see how this uh, is rated on this specific test. Now, on Newegg.com, $448 for this model, as you can see right now for the one terabyte. Definitely recommend this speedy, beautiful looking um, SSD on the M.2 slot of your motherboard. You're really gonna have lots of fun and get great performance with this. Definitely a great buy from Plexter. Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.